Hey friends, James Clancy here with the brand new tips and tricks video. Today, we're gonna show a brand new feature that we just added, all about allowing you to edit components directly inside the Figma plugin. Let's jump over to Figma and check it out. When we're in Figma, I've already launched the plugin. I'm going to click Let's Go, and I am going to run this on two of these screens. And we're gonna let that run. All right, it's done. So this new feature is inside Code Components and Properties. If we click Review on this, I'm gonna to go to this list them, listing item, which is this card right here. And we're gonna play with this a little bit because this is super exciting. If I go into edit, we now have a lot more options. We can go through and we can view the existing properties and what has been set on them. We can just say, okay, min width, we don't want those, right? Let's just delete those. Super awesome, get rid of those. Um, best time to show, um, things like that. Uh, we can leave that, but let's say, okay, we have this little heart icon and we don't have a property set for those. The reason is we use the same exact heart icon for all of them. So I can now go into here and click add props and I can look through everything that we think could potentially be a prop or be one. And so I can go to this heart icon and you can see it selected it. And now I can say value prop or like conditional rendering. So in this instance, I wouldn't want it to hide or show we'd probably switch it to a different image. So I'm going to use a value prop or I could just do conditional rendering and hide that. But since it's a toggle button, that doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna go back and let's, oh, sorry, I went back too far. We're just gonna choose that heart icon and we're gonna say it's a value property. And it defaults to that and we'll just keep it on that as the heart icon value too. Or I mean, at 2x. So now that we've done that, we can change that value based on its state. So if they've already liked it, we can now put a filled heart instead. So it's super exciting that we now have these properties. And as you can see, we now have that property. So super awesome, really nice to be able to go in and actually edit and change and update these icons or properties and add things that you may want or don't want before you ever sync it to the builder. So go off, have fun building components and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot, bye.